welcome back again i am mangesh and uh, we are continuing with uh, sql and in this video we are going to learn order by group by and having clause in our sql query guys in previous query we have learned some basic statements with sql select then uh, we learn how to filter the data we have learned some and clause and others so let's jump to our database in this database you have multiple tables guys practice is very important select start from tab i'll get the list of the tables present in my database the way i'm doing practice on employees table you can go ahead and check what is the data present in countries table what is the data present in deployments table this view uh, for view and other database objects i'll uh, create one more uh, video and in that video you'll get it what is exactly view and what is the use of that also and there are other tables also you can see the data and you can uh, use all those logics which we have covered in uh, previous video try same logic on these tables and uh, try more practice as you can uh next let's move to the uh, uh, table employees what information we have in this table i'm going to fetch entire data from the employees table and yes in this table this is what the employee id uh, this is what the department id and uh, this is what the salary column so we need to learn order by clause order by used to sort the data in ascending order in descending order ascending means a to z or in the number sense 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 like that descending z to a it's in reverse order or 9 to 1 9 8 7 6 5 like that so uh, let me fetch only few more columns i don't want entire employees table so first i am taking employees underscore id then i want last name column then i want salary column and uh, let me take the okay i'm okay with these three columns from employees table now you can see uh, here uh, salary column is present and uh, i want salary column in a descending order descending order so that time uh, order by clause will come in the picture order by clause and this keyword is very important asc use for the ascending desc use for the descending uh, in order by clause you need to give the column name which you want to sort and these keywords in front of that column name we need to mention asc or desc if you want in descending order we need to use desc and if you have not used anything then by default it will come in the ascending order so let's sit practically uh removing semicolon from here because we are continuing our sql query order by salary so i have not given any keywords like asc or desc by default it will come in the ascending order so lowest salary will come first and highest salary will go down see the record 24000 at the last and if you see in the start this is what the data sort in ascending order if you want salary column in descending order just put desc and execute this sql query control enter the shortcut key select it look at the query look at the output 24000 comes first so this order by clause used to sort the data uh, i'm moving to my presentation we have few examples given in my ppt uh, let me go through with those examples first yeah uh, uh, there are three examples given in the slide below sorting data in descending order uh, select last name job id department id and uh, hire date from employees order by hire date desc so they have sort uh, data in descending order for hire date column i am trying to use that same query uh, last name job id last name then they have taken job id they have taken salary and hire date and they want to sort data with the help of this column so i have used hire date column here and it will sort the data in the descending order so latest date will come in the top if you'll see old date will come in the below again if you are giving any kind of aliases like uh, see i'm using uh, giving some arithmetic operators like salary into 12 salary into 12 and uh, let me phrase the data first it will multiply your salary column 
let me give some column analysis for this as and sal as or space you can use to give the column analysis which will give the alternate heading to the column in the output see uh, column heading got changed to and sal and uh, if you have given any kind of analysis use the same analysis in the order by clause to sort the data order by and sal so it will sort the data in this uh, ascending order by default if you want in ascending order you can put ascending also or by default it will come in ascending and if i want in descending order i will use desc keyword so if you have given column analysis then uh, this is a good practice to use same name in your order by clause to sort that data at a time uh, if i want to uh, i want to sort two columns like department id column and salary column I'll show you here. First of all, let me fresh uh, department underscore ID and salary. These two column I have fresh now. Let me remove job ID column. I don't want to make that query complex. Uh, you can see here department ID column is here. Salary column present in the last. And uh, in order by clause, I'm giving like this department underscore ID salary salary DSC you have not given anything here so by default department id column will sort in ascending order under that salary column will come in the descending order so look at the output first control enter so first of all you can see department id column comes in a ascending order department id 10 we have only one person working in department id 10 then we have two people working in department id 20 their data sort in obviously descending because you have mentioned descending here let me put both in ascending art so here salary column also and department ID column also sorted in ascending order why group wise like 10 only one person is there 22 persons are there is it uh, they have phrased the record in the ascending order 6000 came up 13,000 goes down same for the 30 you can see here uh, under 30 2500 is very less salary so it will come up and 31 is 3100 is a uh, higher salary it will come down so it's sorted in ascending order so in this way you can sort the data with the help of order by clause so these examples you can use for practical purpose and here i have given some more information about the order by clause aac and dac these keywords are very important now uh, we will move to the next slide here we need to learn some group functions and uh, let's have some practice on this group functions see uh, in my table what is a maximum salary to check that i will use max uh, what is the minimum salary of my company to check that i will use mean functions how many people are working in my company i will use count to check the exact count sum what is a total salary uh, giving by my company to my all employees so to get that total exactly you can use some functions and average if i have five people in my company and I, if i want to check what is the average salary of my company if five people are there then it will take the total of five and then it will divide by five we will see all these uh, functions practically in our table okay uh, we have a salary column already exist in table so i'm using select max salary then mean salary then uh, some salary we have a count function also it will give the count how many employee has a salary so it it would be there are 107 records are present so count would be 107 and average salary all functions i'm using together in one sql query employees so it will check in entire 107 columns so maximum salary of your company is this 24,000 minimum salary is this then some salary total salary count total 107 rows are present so exact 107 count is here and this is what the average salary no I don't want for the entire table I want only for the department ID 50 use where clause here where department underscore ID is equal to 50 so under department id 50 this is what the maximum salary this is minimum salary this is some salary count there are 45 uh, people are working in department id 50 then this is the average salary 
and same conditions you can use here in not in all those options are available here so in this way you can use group functions okay so use of group by is like uh, see uh, now what is my condition what kind of output i want i want to check maximum salary of every department and uh, uh, i want a department id column also and a maximum salary column also so in the output so if you want department underscore id column in the output i have mentioned here and what you want max salary max salary from employees if you have used any column name then in group by functions you need to mention that column name actually so it will take it will phrase the record in the group group by department underscore id now i'm going to execute this query what it has been done they have created a group of uh, 100 under 100 department this is what the maximum salary 30 department this is what the maximum salary 90 department this is what the 24000 department and if you want this data in uh, uh, ascending order you can use order by clause after group by order by department underscore id now look at the output it came in by default ascending order so under department id 20 this is what the maximum salary under department id 20 this is what the maximum salary under 30 this is what the maximum salary uh go with this uh my company gives total salary how much to every department i will use sum here this is what the exact total of every department uh, we have only one person working in department id 10 so total is only for 4400 but you will see total got changed for 20 because there are multiple people working in department id 20. so in this way you can use group by function and use of order by already got it that it used to sort the data so try the same practice at your uh, database and if you have any doubts anything uh, just leave me a comment uh, i'll help you out with this so thanks for watching this video uh, I'll see you next in next video. Uh, next video, uh, I will create on joins and I will uh, create all that data in my Excel sheet. And uh, I will teach you that entire logic and that Excel sheet. And then later we'll try some practical videos on joins also. So for now, thanks for watching this video. See you again. Bye.